Thank you for joining us this evening. We'll start tonight's media availability with Tennessee running backs coach Jerry Mack to ask a question to Coach Mack. Please hit the raise your hand function. We'll start with Eric Kane, and then we'll go to Austin Price. Hey, Jerry, how has uh, Deep Beckwith kind of gotten with the offense here in the first couple of weeks of spring practice? How has he looked? And, um, and it's high on Evans. He, he looked to be a little limited at points in time last week. What's his prognosis? Uh, I start off with D. Uh, D's doing a really incredible job of just continuing to learn the finer details of the position uh, every single day. Uh, we talk a lot about just playing with low pad levels because, you know, he is all a bigger back. So just getting his pad level down and just learning some of the entries of the position. You know, he plays so many different things in high school. And, you know, last year, I think they moved him around a little bit. So he's finally getting a situation where he's kind of getting settled in on a position. And you talk about extremely intelligent, you know, answering, meeting, answering questions in the meetings and just from that quarterback background that he has, you can just tell that he's just got a sense of just the entire game and situation of football and how everything kind of fits together. So, you know, been really pleased with his progress over the last few practices. Uh, a tie on situation, getting better every day. Uh, today he was out there dressed out. Uh, he ran around, did some individual drills with us. We're hoping uh, to have him back really sooner rather than later. Hey, Coach, uh, just take me through what Jalen Wright does well for you guys. Obviously, just a freshman. Um, but, you know, what's he kind of shown through the first six practices? And how much have you seen your group grow from practice one to practice six, as in, you know, learning how you like to see them do things and then just learning to practice under a new staff? Well, Jalen right now is just really learning uh, the speed of the game more than anything. Uh, he's had some ups and he's had some downs, but he sure has had a lot of flashes as well. Uh, when you talk about the ability to separate from people, when he gets to the second level, the speed it was it what jumps out at you about him. Uh, he's so dynamic when he gets to the second level, it's really hard to catch him. But the finer details of the position and, you know, down in and down out, uh, just learning those different things. And, you know, for a young guy, especially from a protection standpoint, when you come to college, the protections are really just blowing his mind a little bit. But he is getting better. Uh, and that's what we ask of those guys more than anything, to try to come in every day and get 1% better each day. And you can just tell right now, even though he's struggling here and struggling there, his flashes are big, huge flashes. Uh, you can ask anybody on the field, when he gets to that next level and he gets an opportunity to get in space, he can make people miss. Uh, he's still learning it's more than anything uh, about college football and how we can't bounce a lot of runs. We have to stay in between the tackles when we need to, and we have to trust that the offensive line is going to get their block. And that's just going to come with reps. Uh, the more reps he has, I think the only the better he's going to get. So I'm looking forward to the remaining practices of the spring to see exactly where he can go. Uh, as a group right now, I think we are getting a lot better. Uh, every day we kind of come in and we focus on something to get better at. Uh, we choose two or three things that we know each man in that room has to get better at something individually and specific. Uh, we put the notes on the board and, and we go around and we talk about what do you have to do individually to get better and then what do we have to do as a group to get better. And you can see those guys. I've been very pleased with the effort that they've been giving me uh, every single day to try to come out there and really focus on those finer things. Today, the heat kind of got us a little bit. We were sluggish around. We were up and down. But toward the end, we tried to find a way to push through in that fourth quarter and try to find a way to come out on top. Patrick Brown and David Oven. Hey, Jerry, uh, I guess one of the guys that you, that you have that's actually got a little bit of experience is Jabari Small, was kind of the, the, the third back last year. What have you seen from him this spring? I know a couple – Coach Golish was really complimentary of him. What, what have you kind of seen from him so far? Yeah, you can just tell Jabari is one of those guys that really was born to play running back. Uh, he has a really natural feel, has great instincts at the position. Uh, you can tell he's been really well coached in high school and also, too, uh, with the previous staff. Uh, he has a natural feel for that position right now. Uh, every day we come out there and he is disciplined, he is focused, he understands protections right now, and, and which is really uh, intriguing and really impressive for a guy really of his youth. Uh, but right now he has been extremely impressive to, to everybody on the field. The way he handles his business, the way he goes about his business, he takes care of business like a pro. And we talk about that in the room all the time, making sure you handle yourself, write notes, take notes, and then go out there and apply to the field. And that's what I've been really impressed with him uh, with this entire spring. These, these first six practices, He's in, he's in really uh, sparked and, and showed his true colors. And I think he's going to really help us this year. Uh, Jerry, have you, have you guys had any conversations with Laneef um, and then Brian about moving him to linebacker? Or do you feel like he's locked in there at running back with you guys? 
say that person again. I'm sorry. Lanith Whitehead, have you guys had any conversations about him moving to linebacker or is he locked in at running back right now? Uh, right now he's not being a running back. Uh, you know, he's still nursing his injury. He's not 100% as far as full contact, but uh, he goes through all our drills with us. He does everything. Uh, really intelligent player too, you know. Uh, he's, he sits in the meeting room. He understands. He knows the signals. He knows everything that we're doing. Uh, but we're, there has been no discussion right now to move him to the linebacker position. Ben McKee and Jimmy Himes. Hey, Coach, I'm just curious as to kind of what you have emphasized with your group as a whole uh, to, to work on this spring. Uh, the finer details. Uh, you know, we talk about see a little, see a lot, see a lot, see nothing at all. Uh, talking about, you know, if we can't get that, we can't get that 70 yard touchdown, if we can't get the snap, take the right footwork, uh, you know, get the handoff. Those little things are really what's important to me at that position. I really think the big things will occur. I think we got enough talent in our room and we got some ability in our room where when those guys do the right things and the little things the correct way, they're going to be potential explosive plays. They're going to be uh, situations where we're getting those hard, dirty yards that we need to, to get those first down in the trenches. But the biggest thing is just those finer details of playing that position right now at the running back position. Uh, you know, you got a lot, of, got a lot of young guys, either they're true freshmen or they're uh, incoming freshmen that just got here or they're junior college players. So there's a lot of youth in the room as far as understanding the way that we go about doing things here in the University of Tennessee in this offense and more specifically in the running back room. There's just certain things that we try to emphasize, whether it be ball security, uh, I'm a really big on protection to make sure they understand where their eyes fit. So just all those little things that, you know, kind of get overshadowed sometimes because you see those guys break those explosive runs and everybody get, that gets uh, lost that, hey, he might not have took the right footwork. He might not have ran the right track. So really trying to focus on those things because we know at the end of the day, those little things are what's going to win us football games. Coach, you talked about getting the dirty yards. Have you identified – someone that you think might be a power back, somebody that you feel comfortable with on third and fourth down short yardage? Uh, right now, you know, Jabari Smalls, once again, he's doing an incredible job of, of doing some really good things. Uh, Deep Beckwith showed flashes today that we feel like, you know, we finally saw some things out of him that we've been really kind of waiting on. Uh, and T. Hodge, uh, I think T. Hodge has done a really good job of showing some power, showing some speed. Uh, consistency is going to be the key right now for him. But I can tell you right now, he's a guy that works his butt off, and, and he's, a, he's got the body type to be potentially a power back for us in his offense. And do you have running backs, or do you want running backs that not only are good rushers, but also have the ability to catch out of the backfield? Well, yeah, you know, it was a, it was a pretty interesting day. Uh, we had a chance to go some 7 on 7 drill today, and, you know, running backs probably caught the first four or five balls out of the backfield. Uh, so I was really intrigued and really impressed with the, the way they caught the ball out the backfield. So, you know, identify right now, and I think that's what spring is about, identifying those young people who can really flex out and, and create those mismatches on those linebackers and, and potentially those safeties if it has, has to come to that. But uh, that's what we're kind of in the process of doing right now. Uh, every day is a new install. Every day is something a little bit different, more on the running back. So we got to identify certain skill sets, what guys can do well, what runs they can do well. And then, like you said before, uh, who can catch the ball out the backfield? Who, who needs to be that guy that we try to create those mismatches with? Ryan Callahan and Gustavo. Hey, hey, Jerry, you kind of touched on T. Hodge a little bit there, but what, what do you want to see out of him? What's kind of the next step in his development? And, and can you see anything from him, you know, having, maybe having compared to some practice film from last year where he's maybe improved so far? Yeah, I, I feel like I want to see more consistency, not just him, but all of them. Uh, but I need to see more consistency in the game. Uh, he, he's a lot like Jalen at times, like he flashes, he does some really good things. And then he'll make some mistakes that, uh, that he probably shouldn't make. But I think that's his biggest key to, to getting on the field consistently this year is making sure he does a really good job of being consistent. Uh, you know, and, and that's what spring is about. Every day just trying to grow and get better day, one day at a time. Uh, once again, he, he's young as well. He hasn't had a lot of opportunities to play college football. So he's still trying to catch up and learn with the speed of the game. But so far, really been pleased with, with the energy and the effort and the attention to detail he tries to come out with and try to make better. Coach, uh, you mentioned T, uh, T, but what do you see from the other freshmen, you know, uh, after all those practices? What do you see from the other running back freshmen? What do you see from them uh, for all those practices? Say that one more time. You kind of muffled. Oh, uh, uh, I asked about the other freshmen. You mentioned T, but how about the other freshmen? How do you see from them from this practice? Uh, you know, just like any other freshman, the speed of the game, trying to catch up with that more than anything. Uh, it's so many different things when you come to college that 
uh, get thrown on you and you're trying to figure those different things out. We all know that those guys are talented when you put the ball in their hands. Uh, but just so much about just the little things, situational football is right now where we try to stress every single day. And every single day we have some form of fashion situation. And those guys understanding uh, whether it's third down, whether it's red zone, understanding what the defense is trying to do to you, I think that's really big for true freshmen uh, or incoming freshmen to try to figure out uh, because there's some, some things they don't have to think about as much in high school. Uh, they're, they're probably one of the most talented, if not the most talented uh, player on the field. So, you know, when, it, when things get tough, they, they run the ball and they score or, or they have success. Uh, at this level, it's a lot more detail. It's a lot more intricacies that go into that uh, position. There's a lot more things that you have to be alert for and in tune for. And you have to know exactly kind of what the defense is trying to do to you. And I think from the freshman standpoint, that's the biggest transition that they're having uh, some issues. It's really understanding, right? being able to go from situation to situation within the course of the practice because very similar to a course of a game. It's four quarters, and every quarter is going to be a little bit different as far as what, uh, what the defense is doing, whether it may be momentum swing, whether it may be what they've had success with in the past or what they've had success with during the course of the game. You have to be really in tune with that, and that's one thing I'm trying to get these guys uh, to kind of understand more than anything. Last question, Wes Rucker. Hey, Jerry, looking over your, your background, you're a guy who's, you know, you've been a head coach. You've coached just about every position there is on offense. Does that help you when, when you're, you know, kind of trying to teach your guys at running back how the whole thing fits together? You know, just kind of how, how their role in the offense and how, how – and I guess in addition to you being kind of a sounding board for, for Josh Heupel, how does it help with your players to help them understand how the whole puzzle works? I would like to think so. Uh, you know, just having a macro perspective about how the entire offense kind of fits together. And once again, how certain things as far as situational football fit together, just making sure that they understand. I think when you when you come into a situation and you understand how everything kind of fits together, you kind of have that aha moment uh, from your players. And then they really understand why it's important to press the heels of the offensive line, why it's important to run this track, uh, why it's important to keep these certain runs skinny as opposed to bounce to free hitters. Just little things like that from a global perspective of the entire offense, it puts them in perspective now when they get on the field, they're able to kind of put those things to use and think about those things before the ball is actually snapped. So I really like to hope, hope that, uh, you know, just having the experience that I have and being able to, to coach different positions has helped them understand a lot more about what we're trying to do schematically in this offense. Thank you, Coach.